Hello and welcome to Homeworks. Now guess what I found? Okay, okay, let me, I've got to be careful with it. It's so small. Look what I found. You can't see it? You know what? I'm struggling too. I'm struggling to see it. It's a needle. Yeah, a needle. Now, what can you do with a needle? I tell you what, let me just put this down gently, okay? Now, what can you do with a needle? Yes, yeah, so, so all kinds of things. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it behind me, beside of me, above me. Yeah, loads of things you can sew. And that reminded me of a comment that Jesus made. He said, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. I don't think he has anything against rich people. I think he might be looking at people who might have so many things in their lives that they are actually leaving him out. But let's see. Look at the statement, a camel. Can you picture that? This massive camel and this little needle. Even if he had the biggest needle ever, can you imagine this massive camel going through that needle? I don't think so. In the olden times, when people built their villages or their cities, they had these walls around the cities as a form of protection. And in the walls were these massive gates. And within those gates were these smaller doors. And that door is called the eye of the needle. Yeah, seriously. Now, can you imagine though, a huge camel laden with all the goods coming through that smaller door? No, it sounds very impossible, doesn't it? But a good master found a way to have that camel. First of all, they got rid of all the burden, and then they found a way to encourage the camel to come through, to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and come through that door. See, so see, it's possible. But how is it possible? If you get rid of all the baggage, and then you listen obediently to the master's voice, because he's able to calm and reassure you, then you're able to do that job. So somewhere there, there's a lesson for all of us. So this week, let's pray and talk to God and ask God to help us to listen to him and to get rid of those things that might be annoying and keeping us back from being the best that we can possibly be, okay? Help us to be guided by him. That's all homeworks now. Have a great week. Amen.